Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the last event for British Czech and Slovak Association in the year 2023. We're very excited about this event because uh, we wanted to do something with the Czech National Theatre for a very long time. And we have now managed to get uh, two people from the National Theatre to come and talk to us about uh, the Czech National Theatre. And uh, just a few practical details. The, um, the talk will last about an hour and uh, we will have discussions and questions and answers at the end. However, of course, should you have any questions, do feel free to put them in a chat and we will, I promise, get back to them later on. Um, and um, I think, sorry, let me just admit some more people. So I think I will uh, start by introducing Mr. Tomasz Gilberg, who is at uh, who works at foreign relations at the Czech National Theatre. So, Tomasz, welcome. Hello, and um, dear ladies and gentlemen, hello everybody. Um, I am Tomasz uh, Kilberger. Um, I deal with the agenda of uh, foreign relations at the National Theatre and which is important cultural institution in the Czech Republic. First of all, I would like to thank you for your interest in the National Theatre. We appreciate it very much. Uh, I would like to introduce to you Miss uh, Mistress Jana Markova, my colleague, very experienced guide through history of uh, the National Theatre and of all of its promises composed of various theatre buildings of um, architectural and historical significance. She is also highly qualified tourist guide of Prague. Therefore, we collaborate with her for many, many years. Before I give her floor, I would like to tell you a couple of words about National Theatre in general. It is uh, the representative stage of the Czech Republic. It is one of the symbols of Czech identity and outstanding part of the European cultural space with more than 130 years of tradition. It is a bearer of Czech heritage, cultural heritage, and a space for free artistic creation at the same time. The National Theatre nowadays consists of four artistic ensembles, drama, opera, ballet, and Laterna Magica, specific genre. They creating um, in four remarkable theatre houses, historical building of the National Theatre, state opera, e-states theatre, and the new stage all cultural heritage sites. The National Theatre is also one of the biggest theatre producers in Europe with approximately 1,000 performances played a year in a broad variety of genres. The organization has almost 1,400 employees and an annual budget of approximately 50 million crown, not crowns, sorry, euros. It is a living artistic organism which understands tradition as a task to be solved in an ever new way and as a pursuit of the highest artistic quality. Jana Markova will tell you more about its history, its buildings and importance for the Czech nation and will answer your questions later. I have to apologize because I have to leave now. So I wish you um, a great presentation with Jana and I hope to see you in the National Theatre in presence in person someday, which will be great to see you there and wish you Merry Christmas. Floor is yours, Jana. Um, thank you very much, um, Jana and Tomáš, for your kind introduction. Um, I hope you can all hear me and I would like to wish you a good evening also from me, from Prague. Um, as mentioned, I have been uh, working with the Czech National Theatre for quite a few years, actually, for, for a decade now. And it's been always my pleasure to take guests around the individual buildings, which we will also mention. So don't worry if you don't know them yet. Um, in an hour, you should be familiar with all of them. I would like to share with you 
a uh, presentation now. And also, I would like to give you a warning. Uh, this is really just a glimpse into uh, the history of the theatre. This is a really a glimpse behind the theatre curtain of the story. Um, also, we are going to talk about the interior of the building. But if you have already been to the National Theatre, or if you have heard anything about the building, you know that it's a big building and a beautiful one. So just the interiors would deserve a separate uh, presentation. So this is maybe an invitation uh, for another presentation or for your journey to Prague and for a visit um, in our lovely Czech National Theatre. So if you feel like that some things have been shortened, it's um, just to, let's say, um, um, just to um, make you feel more interested uh, into that particular topic and um, encourage you for your future future visit. So now, if you uh, if you don't mind, I would like to share my screen, which is going to be uh, which is going to start in a minute. However, I have to let me do it this way then. Share and now. And now you should see just the National Theatre. Can you please, Jana, give me a thumbs up? Good. All good then. Um, so yeah, let us start with uh, our presentation, which is called National Theatre in Prague, uh, its origins and development. Um, in order to talk about the history of the Czech National Theatre, we have to go back in our minds, um, actually, to the end of the 18th century, uh, because we need to understand uh, the context in, into which the building uh, was built. Uh, so, first of all, uh, what was the situation of the Czech lands, of the Czech nation, at the end of the 18th century? So, for many years, for many centuries, since 1526, we had been a part of the Austrian Empire, which later on transformed into the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And that had a certain um, impact on the Czech culture as well as on the Czech language. Also, the end of the 18th century is a very significant part of uh, the Czech history because this is when the so-called Czech National Revival uh, era or the Czech National Awakening era start. And that will actually result with the uh, building construction of the Czech National Theatre. But um, uh, let's go step by step. The first theatre building that was built in Prague was the Estates Theatre that you may also know as Stavovské divadlo, or some of you may know it under its older name, Tilovo divadlo, Til's Theatre. Um, however, the very original name of this theatre is Nosticovo divadlo or Nosticovo Národní divadlo, Nostic National Theatre, and it was opened to public in the year 1783. It was opened as a theatre that was mainly meant for German dramas and Italian operas. And that's another thing that we have to take into consideration, that at the end of the, of the 18th century, German was still the language of the upper classes of the society, of the intellectuals. And when uh, the when Count Francis Anthony Nostitz had the idea to build a theatre, um, he intended it for those who would be interested, who were educated enough and who would understand it. And that were the German speaking people of Prague, because Prague of the 18, 19, and even the beginning of the 20th century was a Czech German city. And that's something we should not forget about. 
Um, so anyway, this theater was open to public and a German performances and Italian operas were on the program. But soon the performances in Czech made it to the program as well. First of all, it, were, it were translations from German. Um, so the very first performances were basically trans the first comedies were translated from German to Czech. Then slowly the original Czech drama started to be born. And that was, and this theater was the cradle for it. Also, you may know this theater thanks to its connection uh, to the uh, to the personality of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, who worked here um, in the years seventeen eighty seven to seventeen um, eighty nine. And you may also know it as the place where Fidlovachka by Josef Kajetantil, which is a very famous uh, Czech drama, Czech uh, play with songs, uh, was performed here in the year 1834. And that's one of the paradoxes of Czech drama, of Czech history, that a German theater was actually uh, the place where the future Czech national anthem uh, was performed on the first time. So yes, on the stage of the Estates Theater, the song Gde Dom of Mui, um, Where is my home or Where is my homeland, which are very common translation of it, um, uh, was staged here um, for the first time.